everyone. Welcome to Pearl's Kitchen. Let us all thank God for carrying our burdens. Amen. Today I'm going to show you how to make vegetable pakoras. And uh, I've already showed you how to make onion bhajis and alu bondas. I'll put the link of those two um, in the description box. But for the vegetable pakoras, here are the ingredients. In the karai here I've got oil deep fried for deep frying. And as it's vegetable pakoras, you can use as many vegetables as you want. But this is what I'm putting today. I've got one sliced onion here, one cup of uh, spinach that I've roughly chopped, half a cup of cabbage that I've grated, I've got two tablespoons of mint, and I've got a big fistful of green coriander, I've got an inch of ginger that I grated, I've got five green chilies that I've chopped, you could put less if you don't want it hot, and we'll need one potato, and I've got two brinjal here that I'll cut in last, put in last. And for the masalas here, I've got half a teaspoon of red chili powder. You could put less if you want. I've got half a teaspoon of cumin powder, that's jeera. Half a teaspoon of coriander powder, that's dhania powder. Half a teaspoon of garam masala. I've got around half a teaspoon of salt. And here I've got one teaspoon of crushed, mixed uh, coriander seed and jeera seed, which I actually, I roasted it on the frying pan and then crushed it with the rolling pin so that made it it made it into one teaspoon that's a mixture of crushed uh, coriander seed that's dhania seed and jeera seed and here i've got a quarter teaspoon of haldi that's turmeric Qu quarter teaspoon of amchur powder that's dry mango powder i've got quarter teaspoon of ajwain that's karam seed and i've got a quarter teaspoon of chaat masala here and i've got one teaspoon of lime juice and in here I've got one and a quarter, one and three quarter cup of basin, that's gram flour. And I've got one teaspoon of lemon juice, lime juice I've already said. And I've got two tablespoons of rice flour. This is optional. If you put this, it becomes nice and crispy. And we'll need a bowl and we'll need some water. Okay, because I left the potato and the aubergine for last, so I've just done that now. I just grated the potato and chopped the aubergine into small pieces. So we take a bowl now and we start mixing all the vegetables first. So put the potatoes in here first and the brinjal, brinjal, aubergine, whatever you want to call it. Give that a mix and now slowly, slowly add everything. If you add the green chilies first and the ginger. Just keep mixing it as you go along. And add the onion. So all the vegetables get a good mix. And keep the green bits for last. Then do the cabbage. Basically whatever you find in your fridge, you can put in here. You can see the vegetables a bit moist. Now you use the, put the spinach, mint, and the green coriander. Okay. Mix all the vegetable nicely. And then we start adding all the dry ingredients. Okay, all this masala, you can mix it with your hand and then put half in the mix. And that's the masala's done. Again, give it a good mix with both your hands. And put the one teaspoon of lime juice. Give that a mix. And then put the rice flour. And then last. 
last. I've sieved this so it doesn't have any lumps in it. Put all of that in there. Okay, mix that. And now let this rest for a couple of minutes before we put some water in it. Okay, it's been resting for two minutes. There's another ingredient that you could use if you want. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. It's soda bicarb, bicarbonate of soda. So just a pinch, just a little bit. And give that a mix, you can see. And now we just need to bind all this together because all the moisture from the vegetable is all coated around. Okay, that's an onion, big piece of onion, I'll take that out. Okay, so now water, we're going to make, we're not going to make a runny batter, just put, keep putting little at a time. Like a fistful. Maybe just three fistfuls you need. And that's all. Now mix it all. So it's nice and moist, but not runny or not even battery. This, it's all coated the vegetables nicely. Now you just let this sit for five minutes and let it rest. Okay, our pakora mixture has been resting for five minutes. So now we need to deep fry it. Make sure your oil is hot but not boiling hot you could use a spoon if you want I always use my hand and we just start putting dollops of it in there just with your hand form a circle and just drop it in there I always find it works better if I do it with my hand just keep putting till you've put it when it covers fills up your curry these are so delicious when you're having a party you could actually make this one day before as well and then just warm it up in the microwave or freshen them heat them up again in the oven so you just put one dollar, one lot, and now you let it cook till it gets golden brown. Okay, this has been frying for last between three and four minutes on a medium heat. You can see now they're starting to get golden. So you turn them one at a time. Be careful because the oil is quite hot. Once you've turned them all over, and let them cook for another three to four minutes. You can see now it's all golden brown, both sides. This takes roughly around four, four minutes on each side. And then it's, just need to take them all out now. all the oil drain out put a kitchen paper ready and that's your first batch ready and now we put the second one again again Finishing it all in one go. And the last bit in this corner. And again, just wait till it gets golden brown, around four minutes. 
and let me turn them over. There you go, the last batch has had four minutes on each side as well, and they look nice and golden. So you take them out as well. All the oil drain out. And all your bajir, uh, not bajirs, all your vegetable pakoras are ready. Now let this rest for a couple of minutes. That's all our vegetable pakoras ready. That's how it should look like. Lovely and all the green bits showing through the pakoras. Now you could serve this with uh, red chili dip or green chutney or red tomato chutney. Uh, I'll put the link of both my chutneys in the description box and I hope you like my vegetable pakoras when you make it. It's really good for parties or for barbecues or just for starters. So we are going to enjoy this while it's nice and hot and uh, don't forget to share my link with your family and friends and thank you for people who have already been subscribing for me and supporting me and I shall see you next time with some more delicious cooking.